How can one be such a pervert? Hi everyone, hope you all are having a great time. Your boy Al is here with Chain Soldier Episode 2 review so let's get started. At first we see Yuki complete the cleaning of the 7th Squad dormitory when Ashuki appears and charges at him. As promised, the dormitory's barrier prevents the Shuki from breaking through. NEI arrives and explains that the dormitory is in an active region of Mado, leading to the abundance of Shuki. Himari appears, kills the Shuki with her weapon powers, and criticizes Yuki for slacking off, ordering him to prepare dinner. After scolding Yuki, Himari and NEI go inside, leaving Yuki with a brief sense of being watched. Inside, the girls of the 7th squad praise Yuki's cooking and cleaning work. However, Yuki reflects on his desire to be a hero and feels he is losing sight of it, especially with his lack of battle experience since arriving with Kyuka. Initially arguing, Yuki stops when Yamari turns her arm into a sword and points it at him. So yeah, we got some more lore about Mado and it seems Mado is divided into 8 regions and a defense force is assigned to each of them. So if we go by number order wise, I think it's pretty safe to assume that the 7th squad is the second weakest defense force. We see Kyuka emphasize her understanding of Himari's discomfort, acknowledging Yuki's importance as a caretaker and to her plans and powers. She assures that she will take action if he misbehaves. Later, Shushu catches Yuki spying on Himari preparing for a bath. Using her abilities to shrink and spy on him unnoticed, Shushu takes a picture and subtly threatens to show it to Kyuka unless he promises to become her slave as well. While cleaning Shushu's room, Yuki tries to figure out a way to delete the photo without her noticing. Shushu teases him about attempting to grab her phone and instead grabbing her underwear, stating that she sees him more as a pet than a man and that, as their housekeeper, he would have to touch her underwear eventually. Shushu appears to be a free-spirited character who is very curious about men and so she will bully Yuki however she wants. Also we finally got to see some cultured stuff, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Then we see Shushu take a photo of Yuki holding her underwear, even though he was doing so to organize it. Yuki then observes Kyuka and Himari training in the dorm's entrance area when a Shuki appears. Kyuka engages in a solo battle to demonstrate proper hand-to-hand -hand combat to Himari. NEI informs Yuki that she, Himari, and Kyuka will be leaving for a meeting, leaving Yuki and Shushu alone in the dorm. Shushu compels Yuki to give her a shoulder massage and asks how he became skilled at it. Yuki shares that he used to give massages to his sister, refining his technique. Shushu reveals she is the youngest of three sisters in a fatherless family, attended an all-girls school, and that her interest in Yuki stems from seeking excitement in life, prompting her to move to Mado and joining the defense force. It's very rare for a semi-main character of an anime fighting for fun rather than a noble cause, so I really like the fact that Shushu is just doing it for fun and nothing more. Moving on we see Shushu proposes a strip fighting game, where the loser removes a piece of clothing after each round. Yuki loses every game and ends up fully naked while Shushu remains clothed. Yuki attempts to dissuade her, citing safety concerns, but Shushu, using her ability Paradigm Shift, enlarges herself to the room's size, asserting her safety. Eventually, Yuki is compelled to strip completely, and Shushu finds it amusing. Their game is interrupted by a massive Shuki attacking the base. Shushu utilizes Paradigm Shift to grow and confront the Shuki, successfully defeating it. However, a larger Shuki emerges, presenting a new challenge. I assumed a barrier of such an important place would be far stronger, but it looks like that it can only keep away fodders. Next we see Shushu attempt to use Paradigm Shift to grow but encounters difficulties. Yuki, unable to transform without Kyuka's presence, decides to try kissing something belonging to her. After kissing Kyuka's combat boots, he successfully undergoes a partial transformation. Yuki defeats the massive Shuki and reverts to human form. The scene jumps ahead to Kyuka and the others return, with Kyuka having to provide Yuki with a massage to address injuries from his partial transformation. I honestly didn't expect Yuki to be such a huge pervert, it's kinda gross, 
but funny at the same time because it's too unhinged. At the end we see Kyuka instruct Shushu to express gratitude to Yuki by assisting him with his caretaker duties. The perspective then shifts to another defense force squad, where a girl stays behind to allow her comrades to escape. However, the Shuki captures her two allies, and when it is about to attack her, a seemingly human woman intervenes. The woman, recognizing Yuki's presence, mentions her familiarity with him and asserts that she can sense him in Mado. So I'm guessing Yuki is very special like most harem protagonists, and the woman is most likely Yuki's big sister or something, who joined the dark side for some reason. Also it seems like she can control Shuki kinda like Kyuka. Overall it was a fun episode but I expected a bit more fan service. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.